Hey guys, I'm Sean Cheek of WebPianoTeacher.com. We have an Instagram exclusive lesson here for you. It's Charlie Brown Christmas. Christmas time is here. All right, we're going to learn the whole thing right here. So stick with me. Let's hear what we're going to be doing. Here's the intro to it. section and so forth <clears throat> all right guys so we're going to do this in three sections the song has an introduction then it has a i'll call it an a section and then a b section and then the a section repeats so there's three parts to this we're going to use do three different lessons all in this one big lesson to teach you this thing all right so as we get started here we look at the board and this is just like I do on webpianoteacher.com. I use letters instead of sheet music with notes, you know, because a lot of people have trouble with that. Some people just need a different way to learn. So that's the way I've been teaching, the way I've made a living for the past 30 years, is ha offering an alternative for all you guys who just want to play by ear and just jump right in and play your favorite song. So <clears throat> we're going to use the whiteboard here. And this top line is the introduction. Now, I want to encourage you, if you are a beginner, I think you can do this because it goes slow enough where you have time to move your hands. There's lots of flats and sharps, but since the speed is slow, you still, still can learn it and get it down, I think. So uh, we're going to just take this introduction. I encourage you to learn just this part. Try to get this down, and when you're ready, you can go to part two instead of trying to learn the whole thing at once. We need to bite off just a little bit so we can do that, have a success, and then we move on, okay? So as we get to the board, <coughs> we can see here this top line. That's what we're going to be looking at. And we have this, all right? We're in three, four, so one, two, three. One, two, three. Feel that? One and two. You got to be aware of that. One, two. You can just count to three over and over again at a slow tempo, all right? <clears throat> we start with our left hand. Let's take a look right here. We have letter A. That's going to be below middle C, finger five, and then we have C, E, G. The reason I wrote this up here, normally I have right hand on top, left hand on bottom, but the left hand is so high up, it just kind of is, as a visual to remind you the left hand is way up here for this. A, C, E, G. Now that little up squiggly arrow is telling me to roll it up like this. And that's all you do, like you drum your fingers on the desk, you can hold your pedal down, your piano or keyboard, roll it up, and the right hand's going to be up here. Okay, so get that left hand centered. We'll do that. The right hand will be up here on an A, then an F, and then a C. And I recommend go ahead and getting your fingers in place. That's an F chord, F A C, with one, three, five. Get them on the keys, ready to go, and the left hand, and you just one and two, three, and take your hands off the keyboard, and then try to put them back. We all can play it once we get there, but the trouble, the hard thing is getting there to begin with. So practice actually getting there. One and two, three. One more time, go. One and two, three. Now, that is one measure. You just played one measure, so pat yourself on the back. Great job. That may be all you do today is practicing getting to that one chord and playing that one little part. One and two, three. All right, so get that down, left hand and right hand, put them together. And once you have that, that's our formula. That's our template for learning the whole thing, okay? So now we're going to tackle that second measure. And once we tackle that, we'll get it down. Then what we'll do is we'll try to tie them together to make them one unit, okay? So now we'll be working on the second measure. Back to the board. <clears throat> this chord is really cool sounding, all right? So what we're going to have on the left hand is F, so we moved to the left a little bit, we moved down, F, A flat, C, E flat. I have a little bracket there that just helps my mind realize that's the left hand part. Right hand is moving this way, so the hands, both hands kind of move down. A flat, C, E flat. Now a flat just means if this is an A, and I play A flat, I'm just gonna go here, that's an A flat. You just go to the left to the next key, whether it's black or white. Most of the time, it'll be a black key. A flat, C, E flat. 
my hands together. C and then A flat. So the C and the A flat, I've already played them right here, so I don't move. I get my hands in place. You can do that with fingers one, three, five, or one, two, four, whatever suits you better. Different pedal for this. So we pedal for this, and then you repedal that so we don't mix those two chords. And two, three, okay? Let's play that again. Go one and two, three. So now we've learned that second measure. Now what we do is we try to put them together. Remember you have a pause button on your video. If you need a little time, you don't have to keep up with me. Hit pause, and then when you're ready, I'll be here, and we can pick up where you left off. Now we're going to try these two measures together. We're going to attach them together. Here we go, very beginning, and go. One and two, three. One and two, three. Then we practice it again. We have repetitions. One time is not enough. We need maybe three at least. I like to do things in three. So let's do the second time. One and two, three. One and two, three. It's my second repetition. Now here's the last one. Two, three. All right. Time for a pat on the back because you learned the second measure and you put them together. Okay? And now, guess what? We're going to continue the same thing. We're going to try a third measure and then a fourth measure. And we're in luck because they're, you know, music repeats a lot, so they're very similar. So if you've done the first two, you'll be able to play the rest of it, okay? So deep breath, and when you're ready, here we go. Let's go to measure three. All right, so this measure is very similar to the first measure because it's the same kind of chord. All right, the left hand is no different. See, A, C, E, G. So we're back on our, let's call it an A minor 7, those of you who want to know what that is. Just that part of it. Okay, A minor 7. The right hand's on A, C, E. Right here, so we're not on uh, A, F, C. We're on A, C, E. And a C, and then another C. So one and two, three. Same idea, get your hands in place, and then you can play it. One and two, three. One more time. Now, what's our pattern? We attach it. So we go back, three repetitions. I'm just going to do one repetition, but here we go. Two, three. Two, three. Two, three. Very good. So <clears throat> the idea, you know, you put it together, you know, in three repetitions on doing those three measures. If you do it that way, it will really strengthen your memory and your confidence in what you're playing instead of spreading yourself too thin and trying to learn the whole thing at once. So a lot of people quit because they, they don't know how to, how to practice. All right, so now we're going to uh, try that next measure. So let's jump right in. Okay, so when you're ready, we try this, this uh, fourth measure. F, A flat, C, E flat, on the left. And that's exactly what we had here, so you can already do it. The right hand, A flat, C, E flat. We're adding a G. So that's all we're doing is we're adding a note. And then E flat, E flat. And then this last E flat is already on my left hand thumb. I just play it again. Two, three, and one, and two, three. Don't rush. Don't rush to the tempo. Let it take your time. Okay, so see how this measure is very similar to that one. Then we time together. So back to the beginning. One, and two, three. One, Now, next measure is going to be just like what? Like this measure. So we already know it. One and two, three, except we're going to play that E again we have on our left hand. And I'm not using sheet music to, tra to uh, transfer this here. I always listen to the original, and whatever I hear, that's what I write down. So that's what you're getting here is what I heard in the original. This measure is exactly like what? This one, except that we have another C on the left hand. One and two, three. So again, as we're learning this, you know, add each measure one at a time. Now, so we've gone through this whole top line, which is the intro. Now we're going to try it all together. I'm just going to do it once, but you at home need to do it three times, three reps at least. Okay? That doesn't mean they'll be perfect reps. It's your best, whatever that is at this point. All right, so here we go. Very beginning. And... Go one and two, three. One and two. Change your pedal each measure. Change and two, three. One and two, three. One and two, three. Very 
good. Okay, so that's our first line, our first part, I say. And I like to do lessons in parts on webpianoteacher.com because I think it's very important that we bite off what we can, can chew and work on that. And then when we're ready, we try the next part. We don't want to try too much at one time. That's such an error that happens over and over again with people. And a lot of people quit lessons over that simple fact that they don't know how to practice. And it's so simple if you just listen to me and, and, and actually put these things in your practicing when you're working on it. So, guys, that's our part one. Part two's coming right up, so don't pause. Get ready. Here comes part two. See you in just a minute.